building metal wings to fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pin code, pin code, pin code, Science can be tricky, it can overheat your brain. Science can be hard to chew, each bite can be a pain. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pin code. Five hundred and six, five hundred and seven. Think of the wonder of it all. Trillions of stars and planets and moons just waiting to be explored. With those kind of odds, it's insane to think we're alone out there. There must be so much life. And that's just our very small, underambitious calculations. Can't you just hear the possibilities? Not really. All I hear is a yakking moose and eight. You're not taking this nine, seriously. And ten. Eleven. Have it your way. I can see you're pursuing something much more scientific. Well, fine. I guess the universe can just wait. Hey! <sighs> Actually, dominoes are also a way of studying life. Sure. <laughs> and I bet Einstein just played hopscotch all day. No, really. <laughs> Take a look. It only takes one domino falling over to affect the rest of them. That's how life works. Everything is connected, kind of like a big web. And big things, too. Every action has consequence. A litter bug's oh. banana peel could mean a painful slip for someone else. Oh. A little sneeze could spread a big disease. Ouch. Actions can set off chain reactions. Things spiral from there. It's the domino effect. Your theory only affects simpler organisms who aren't in control of their fate. But we have more power. We alone control our futures. An absurd theory. Plus, you forgot I don't even eat bananas. I will say, at least you've tried to justify this silly game. <sighs> Calm your antlers and let me enjoy something. I'm trying to beat my old record here. Maybe you could find a hobby that doesn't take up the whole floor. Oh, look, how about a garden? Or better yet, one potted plant. Wait, no, stop! <laughs> hmm? ah! No, 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 no! Stop arguing and buckle up! <laughs> Our new hobby is dodging asteroids! Ah, <laughs> uh, and I was just a few away from beating my record. <laughs> you losing your own record is your own fault. If you had just asked Finn, you would have probably known we'd be traveling through an asteroid belt. That domino theory of yours is debunked. Really, <laughs> fate is only up to us. You losing your new record is just due to bad luck. Mm. My book on gardens! Seems your book falling is your own bad luck, eh? Impact imminent. Prepare for immediate and painful landing. Ah. Oh, I think I sprained my allula. Don't be crass, pain. You have arrived at your destination. Initiating auto seatbelt unbuckling. No! Don't unbuckle the seatbelts yet! <laughs> ah! oh. Well, seems we're in a bit of a pickle, boys. And by pickle, I mean crater on an asteroid. Splendid. My favorite place. Uh, where's Daco? You crazy? Come back! I'm not going on a wild moose chase. Phenomenal stuff. Yeah. Huh? Holy smokes! This place is dangerously radioactive. Taco, huh? get back here now! There's hmm. radiation! 
<laughs> After scanning our location, I found extremely high levels of radioactive uranium here. So whoever lived on this planet before had terrible waste management. Or there's just uranium. Can the radiation reach us on board? We're fine. We have a shield. It just takes up a lot of power from the mainframe. If I may interject, while you two wax on the dangers of radioactivity, I'll be outside exploring the ruins of an amazing asteroid society. Did you lose? Your mind in the crash? The uranium is the reason they're ruins. You want to join them? Because that's what'll happen. Then you and Pin stay behind and figure out how to get us out of here. If it makes you feel any better, I'll wear an extra suit. Or three. <laughs> no can do. Without radiation protection, three suits are just as useless as one. You win. No. I'll go explore the ruins and I'll do it without any kind of protection. I sacrifice myself in the name of science. <laughs> <laughs> This is for the study of interstellar anthropology! Don't you get it? And it's so close! A chance like this only comes once! Oh, just one minute's all I ask! Come on, you guys! Well, we have a day. That's how long our power will last. We'll just make it work. Somehow we've got to get outside the ship and analyze how to get out of here. I'm pretty sure that's the bigger problem. <laughs> Fix the ship. Hmm, I don't hear Darko. Huh? <laughs> now it's just sad. It's not that we're not curious about the ruins, we just don't want to die. You know, the radiation thing. This place is the pinnacle of my life's research! Oh. I refuse to let you two bird brains deprive me of this achievement! Go! Go! Okay, pal! You're about to get in school! It was your book full of flowers that you left on the table. That caused one of the flowers to fly over the pin, which made him sneeze. And where did that lead us? All right, we crashed. And now we're on this rock somewhere in space. That is what you call a chain reaction. My word, that's it! We're all saved! A chain reaction! <laughs> First, we'll start a fire. We'll just light this. Light it. Light it. <coughs> light it! <laughs> ah! <laughs> fire is a great example of chain reactions. The fire consumes more and grows, and energy is created as a result. That's how our ancestors first utilized different forms of energy. They burned fuel and used reactions from that. Yeah, what do you suggest? Burn down the ship? Cut our losses? No, we have a powerful material right at our fingertips. Uranium! Uranium is a fascinating element. It's extremely dense and heavy because it has so many protons and electrons inside a single atom. But if we add one electron, that messes up the whole balance. It'll split, and that releases energy. Wait, we're splitting one tiny atom? How much energy could that make? It makes a super chain reaction. When one atom of uranium splits into two parts, it makes two free neutrons. Then those two neutrons fly to the nearest atoms and do the same thing to those guys. They break them apart and they break more apart, and those neutrons break even more, and it makes a domino effect. And that wonderful reaction is called a nuclear chain reaction. Something like that is dangerous, bordering on utter madness. We don't have the technology. We can't control that kind of reaction. Well, I never said we need to control the reaction. Ah! <gasps> Are you telling me you would blow the planet up? Why would you do that? Am I missing something important here? What happens in an uncontrolled nuclear reaction? Big explosions happen. Pin is trying to destroy the planet with us on it. No, we'll be fine. We have shields. And our ship will finally be free. But what about the ruins? Listen, I'm sorry, but this seems like our best shot. Oh. Radiation shields activated to maximum level. 
Nuclear launch ready for initiation. Activating Code Penguin. Nuclear launch sequence. This whole thing was worse than just the domino effect. This is more like the butterfly effect. You pick a flower, and the next thing you know, we've engaged World War XII on a planet. It's a shame, really. I almost agreed with you about those ruins. Wait, what's that? Look, there! Oh, we just made a wormhole. A break in time and space, probably caused by our nuclear reactor. Hold on, time and space? We can use this to go back in time and change the course of events, thereby saving the planet! <laughs> Aha! So you do believe in the domino effect? You know, if we change the course of events as we did them, we probably won't find the planet. Oh, as long as we save it, that's what's important. Years from now, we may find this planet again. And then I'll be able to explore that city for real. Hopefully next time we won't, you know, blow them to smithereens. <laughs> ah, aren't you a fine floral specimen? I believe I'll start to dry flowers in my gardening book. Huh? Oh! Huh? Oh! The discovery of nuclear chain reactions is credited to Nikolai Nikolaevich Semyonov and Cyril Hinshelwood. They each received the Nobel Prize for Chemistry in 1956. But it was an Italian scientist named Enrico Fermi who won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1938 for learning about nuclear decomposition. <laughs> 